Jason from Idaho, welcome back, brother. We are going to help you start your real estate portfolio today. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and I'm working with my man Jason. This is the second video I'm doing for him today. Jason, you ended up ordering a total uh, of 10, 10 videos from me, and we're doing two today. I just finished the last one. This property that I got for you in this video, it's going to be very similar, but again, I want to give you options to compare and contrast, right? I think one or both of these properties would be a great way to start your portfolio. I know your plan is to pick up two properties per year indefinitely, but the cool thing is you have $100,000 in cash. The previous deal that I just brought to your attention, it's only going to require $17,500 if things go how I plan it. This one, same thing, also going to require $17,500. So we don't even necessarily have to limit you to two properties a year. If, if we do, if you like these deals, we can do five of these deals for you right now with the amount of funds you currently have. So without further ado, let's talk about this property. It's very similar uh, to the previous one. Uh, things are just, you know, listed a little differently. 12915 Carpenter Road, Garfield Heights. Same neighborhood, B-class neighborhood. I thought that would work out perfect for you guys. Been on the market two and a half months, 74 days. Now, they listed this at 79.9. Now, remember, the other one, they listed that at 69.9. And I was like, dude, we got to hammer it. Let's go 70K because I think that's going off the market. This particular property, I want you to pick up as well at 70k right so we have you know two different scenarios here in my opinion both properties are worth the exact same amount of money the previous seller they got aggressive on their price you know they listed it low this seller my opinion has listed it too high i don't necessarily want to see you pay 79.9 i think 70k is where you should pick both of these up right now, this particular one, also tenant occupied, this tenant is paying eight ninety five, ten thousand seven hundred forty dollars a year comes in, right? Same thing, same general type of performance expectations that you could have on this property as the previous property. The eight ninety five comes in, we got your average annual expenses of four fifty three. dollars Just like in the last show, uh, this tenant is paying their own water sewer. You see a lot of mom and pop landlords that own one or two properties try to do that. So as you see for the water sewer, I have a zero with an asterisk. Again, I'm going to ask you to look at our fact that explains why it does not make sense for landlords to attempt to have the tenants pay the water sewer bill directly. It does not work based upon Ohio law and the way the Cleveland Division of Water works, right? And the fact will explain all that. So essentially when Holton Wise takes things over, what we'd want to do is change the lease instead of eight ninety five with the tenants paying the water sewer. We would add $75 on that, making it a $970 rental payment to you, and then you'd pay an average water bill of 75 directly to the company, right? More information on why that is is in that fact, right? So 5304 would be our NOI. Quite a nice property, right? Should make you 5304 on average. Just a solid bungalow, right? The other one, uh, more of a colonial. This is a bungalow. Both pretty newer housing stock, though. Remember, I told you in the last video, we have a lot of 100-year-old houses, right? These 1950s builds, right? This is, you're getting newer stuff, okay? You know, just nice little yard, and then you see... The cool thing is here, we already have hardwood floors, nice and polished. So when the tenant turns over, right, not going to really need to do much to the flooring. All the paint, it's, you know, just neutral. So, like, you're probably just going to essentially need to repaint this bad boy. Kitchen floor looks pretty decent to me. These cabinets are pretty outdated, right? You got, like, the the 19, like, 70s looking cabinets. What I'd like to see us do is on the next turnover. I would not want to try to do this now or force the tenant out to do it now, but I'd love to see you update uh, this, right, with some newer Home Depot quality 
kitchen cabinets, nice newer uh, stone countertop, undermount sink. You do that, we could probably get the rent up to about 1100 maybe even 1150 right? So there's some meat on the bone here. And that's going to go for the other property as well. So both of these properties do have the ability to increase the rents. You know, same thing here, right? This is an outdated bathroom again we don't want to do anything to remove this tenant because this is a long-term tenant they've been in there for several years they're currently on a month-to-month -month lease but they want to stay so we want to keep them in there as long as possible you should never be in a rush to remove an income stream just to spend money on a rehab but when a natural turnover occurs and this does go vacant we don't want to offer this to a new tenant right we want to give them newer kitchen and bath fixtures right you could probably make a bang in bathroom for about three thousand maybe thirty five hundred right but that's down the road i don't want to see you do that now okay just more shots some bedrooms you know da da dee just you know normal stuff right nothing uh, amazing here's your basement they got themselves a little workout area a little gym area now one thing to note too this might freak you out on your uh inspection it's really nothing to worry about these tiles right here, these are probably asbestos, okay? They're probably asbestos tiles. I know, you know, you're from Idaho, so maybe not you, but I know when we do these shows for California folks, they they hear the they see the word asbestos in their uh their inspection report and they lose their shit, right? Cuz apparently in California, I don't know, it's probably punishable by death for a landlord to have asbestos tiles. All right, we're out in the Midwest though, okay? There are actual Republicans uh, in in office <laughs> in the Midwest and other areas of the country, unlike California, right? So things are a little different. So if, I mean, you're in Idaho, so I'm, I'm sure you're aware, but just for the other viewers who may be watching your show, right? So asbestos tiling, just so everybody's aware, okay? It's not dangerous in and in itself, right? It's not dangerous just to be chilling there. What happens is if they start cracking and like you're, pulling them up so like say you were like trying to demo this out and you wanted to remove all the tiling so you're like you know hitting them off the floor right and they're cracking and breaking and dust is coming up that's when it's a health hazard if they're left undisturbed and they're not cracking no issue not illegal nothing wrong with putting them in there you don't even have to make any special disclosures or anything of that nature what the easiest thing to do to never worry about asbestos again would be to just encapsulate it and that's just a fancy word of saying covering it up right so what you could do if you were ever worried about it right is at the next turnover we could just put a vinyl flooring over this a floating vinyl flooring and then you never have to worry about the asbestos again so that's something that may pop up on your inspection report so just wanted to make sure you're aware of that and over here you got the hot water tank this is probably you know five six seven eight years old are you a lender if so holton wise is looking to partner with you if you're licensed in all 50 states go to holtonwise.com click the digital media tab to advertise on holton wise tv today uh not really a good shot. I don't know if we have a better shot of that furnace. Here we go. You got the furnace. This looks to be, I would say, within the last five years. Okay. Like, you could tell that this has been replaced pretty recently because right here, this is like the original ductwork, probably for the original furnace. So this is probably only a few years old, right? So we're looking good there for the big ticket items. Okay. And remember, we've already accounted for the eventual replacement of that stuff in our chart, right? So with all that said, if we could pick it up at 70K, it's going to be a 7.6 cap rate. As I mentioned earlier, you're only going to need 17.5, which would position this at a 15.2% return on your investment, right? So my opinion, Jason, I think both, and it's cash paying tenant, by the way. It's not a Section 8 tenant. I know you and your wife are not trying to go the Section 8 route, right? This is a nice B-class, low-risk neighborhood, low-risk property, right? So you guys are trying to start your portfolio. You came to me with $100,000. It's, you know, if you maybe like one of these, you could do one of the deals. My opinion, I think we should move forward on both of the deals. You'll be all in for under $40,000 on this property and the previous property, leaving you guys with 60. So we could have already accomplished your first goal of getting two properties for this year. And we can keep moving, keep shopping, right? We could probably put together five of these deals very similar to this by, you know, within the next like three to four months, right? Really get you guys cooking. So that's what I got for you guys. By the way, everybody else who's watching this show, if you're not Jason and his wife, this property's not available, okay? This property is long gone. 
I send these videos out to my clients, my investors, privately. And then about a month or two months later, after the deal has already closed, I release them publicly for free on Holton Wise TV so you guys could all learn. So if you want to get in the game and work with me in the same way Jason and his wife are, you need to send my team an email, sales at HoltonWise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll give you a call. We'll talk to you about working together, what we can do for you. You can click the show notes below and go right to HoltonWise.com and order a package if you're ready to rock. Or, again, just you know, send us your info. We'll give you a call. We'll talk to you about it, right? But that's how you would get started. So this, not available, folks. But back to you, Jason. If you want to move forward on this deal, just reply to the private email. Let us know your feedback on both this property and the one I sent you earlier today. And if you want us to move forward, position, you know, put in the offers, we'll do that. We want to make them both contingent on a private party home inspection, right? I've given you a nice analysis, but we need to dig deeper, make sure there's no underlying unknown issues. Like if either of these homes had, uh, let's say, a major foundation issue, in my opinion, that makes them dead deals. we got to move on to the next, right? So we'll check that out. The city of Garfield Heights has what's called a point of sale system. Both of these we're going to request clear point of sale reports prior to closing. Uh, you could go ahead and pause this video in the show notes below. I got a video explaining the point of sale process. Uh, if you're going to be investing in the Cleveland market, very important you know that, right? So that's there for you as well. Um, that is it, brother. That's that's what I got on these two videos today. I wanted to get them to you right before Thanksgiving, so just give me your feedback. And if you don't like either of these properties, hey, man, that's totally cool. Give me your feedback, and then after the Thanksgiving break, I'll come back. I'll hit the drawing board again. I'll take your new feedback into account, and I'll bring some more deals to you. Everybody else, if you're first-time viewers, you're not ready to work with us just yet, do yourselves a solid stick around, smash that subscribe button, check out our other content because we are all about providing you guys with education and transparency in the real estate investment space. Hit me with a like button too if you don't mind. Let's the algorithm know you guys are finding value here on Holton Wise TV. That's it. I'm done. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.